Good morning. It's uh, Vaughan Smith at westcoatbellpottery.ca. Um, this is the kiln unloading um, number two of three that will be done before I do another bisque. Uh, and uh, this one has a lot of fish and a lot of mugs in it. So there we go. Let's see how warm it is. It feels a bit warm. And maybe we'll have to wait for a little bit. Let's give you a little look. Closer up. So the fish are kind of intermingled a little bit. The colors look pretty good. Um, the yellow stayed good. The blues still, some of them have faded a little bit, but the blues are pretty good. Uh, and the greens are good. So this means it was a good oxidation firing. Um, let's have a look at the cone. Cone is over almost all the way. So that's almost like a perfect cone six. Um, it's definitely cone six, but it, I like it to melt and touch the other cone for a perfect one. But anyway, I'm just going to give it about um, 20 minutes to cool off a little bit and then we'll start up again. Okay, I've just layered a bunch of 23 mugs with slip and pulled 23 handles. And so that's a good half an hour probably gone by. Uh, it looks like rain though, so maybe we'll have to delay this again. Anyway, let's get back to the kiln. Um, and this is interesting. This is two of my different oatmeals and all that. So this is my old oatmeal on the inside. And this is the one that I just mixed up. Um, and it's actually a satin mat oatmeal um, with some, uh, what did I put in there? Iron ochre uh, and the ilmenite speckles. Um, so give you a close up. So which do you prefer? I don't know. I'm really, this is my old one. That's the new one. I kind of like the new one because it's warmer and all that, but they're both nice. I'll probably end up keeping both of these. So, um, and here's that new, the new one again with the Ilmanite and the, it's that SMG in the oatmeal video. And I did a little dab of green on the bottom there just to give a little highlight. Um, that's interesting. I've got a dilemma there, I guess. Here's some more of those cafe au lait bowls. Um, not sure I like this one, um, but um, I decided to just try three bright stripes, and I'm not sure about that. I think the less is better sometimes, and there's another one of the cafe au lait. This one I really like, very subtle. I try new things all the time. I think. I'm prolific, I get lots of pieces made, so I just feel like, you know, I may as well just play. Here's the oatmeal with the green again. And that, the other one doesn't match. The yellow with the green without the blue is nice. So, um... And this one is my oatmeal with the blue over the top. I usually do it blue with oatmeal over the top. And I think I prefer it Although it looks definitely a little bit bluer, maybe this way, um, but um, but I think I prefer it the other way around. I'll use this one. I've got a bunch of mugs in here for. Another oatmeal, and that one is just. I think it's the straight oatmeal. Oh, and the, the clay body here is 516 uh, stoneware from Pottery Supply House. It's a really smooth stone that comes out really white. And here's my um, matte turquoise with blue on the bottom of it. That's quite nice. It's the, the, the silkiness of this glaze is terrific. I mean, it's just so smooth. I still glaze with the oatmeal on the inside, though. Just because I know that glaze is it's like a liner glaze. It is a liner glaze. These are the 18 by 18 advancer shelves. If I do this, I pack a big shelf and then a small shelf on top. Which is one of the longest fish I've ever made. This one is, uh, these are 18 by 24 kill shells. 
this one is longer than the kelp shell. So this is about 21 inches maybe long. And all that. I do bit this tentacle gold over the whole center and then the green on the outside for the base on the tail. That's another one with the blue and the oatmeal over the top. That's quite pretty. It's a bit pastel. And there's the fluted mugs. I really like it when I flute. That's the apple green. Oh, if I haven't posted that, I think I have. Just ask and I can post the recipe for the apple green. It's a rutile and copper gray glaze. Oatmeal and green. These are for our Nova Scotia strong uh, thing that's going on in Nova Scotia because we have a million people in the province, but we've had three days with zero COVID again. So we, we've beat COVID twice now and got it down to zero. So, uh, and we haven't been locked down since May. So, um, so we're doing really good. There's uh, another one. I, do, I sell my mugs to White Point Resort. So that's one for White Point. This is the, the oatmeal again, satin matte glaze with the recipe posted in my oatmeal video. And this one. I have so many oatmeals now, I can't remember which one that is, but, uh, but I've got, uh, I just have to look and see which one that is and which one this is. I think this is the satin matte glaze and this one. Oh, I remember what I did here. This is a couple of buckets of oatmeal that I just mixed together and it still comes out oatmeal. Very nice, smooth, light, slightly glossy, but, um, but that, that's the SMG. That's the trouble when you've got like 25 glazes, but, um, More of the butter keepers when I fire them with the stilt inside. You have to get the stilt out, obviously, but it pops right out. And these, if this fits, go on top like that. Um, this will be a video coming up um, for the how to make the. I mean, they're easy to make, but there's a few different um, science things about these. All the way bakers. There's my old oatmeal. Very white, it reflects. And that's for the bakery. That's a mixture of tenmaku gold, rutile green, where they overlap. So tenmaku gold dip, rutile green dip, and they overlap. Blue with oatmeal over the top variegated blue with blue and oatmeal dipped over the top because remember this glaze runs a lot so and then tenriku gold dipped on the bottom lahave bakery mugs my old oatmeal and then my matte turquoise glaze matte turquoise with blue over the top and then mouse gray with my oatmeal dipped over the top this is that bowl in the last fire and it sold in the like less than an hour after i put it out because it was so beautiful this one's too Yeah, who knows what the colors for the future year or two are going to be. Are we going to be earth tones or are we going to be bright colors because everybody wants to be super happy, whatever. Earth tones all are just classic. They're always in fashion anyway. Leahy Bakery mugs. This is the turquoise with my yellow oatmeal over the top. And another one with the matte, 
mouse gray with oatmeal over the top. I think I had my yellow oatmeal over this one. Turquoise, blue, green, copper, red. Storm Pinterest, you can find that recipe. With my yellow oatmeal over the top. This is the regular yellow. Yellow stain, sunshine stain from Mason Stain. Just add it into a white oatmeal glaze. More, two more of those. I like the green when I combine those together. And I will have to grind off the little sharp points from the stilts on all of these. This is the dark. No, it's my regular blue with variegated blue over the top. And a little oatmeal probably on the top as well. Another gray. Variegated blue over, you know, with blue and uh, oatmeal over the top. And then this is my junk blue glaze, which is what all the blue glaze is all thrown together into one bucket, and that's what it looks like. This glaze was a problem, but it's actually working much better now. I added gum arabic to it as well, so it holds on the pieces. It always cracks after you glaze them, and they dry. It's always got cracks everywhere, and it used to flake right off, but now the gum arabic is making it stay on the pot. Hey, it worked. It's a nice glaze. It's a shame it, I couldn't use it because of that. Still count. Yep. Variegated blue, which is not running now because I've sort of got this one sorted out. It's still a really thick glaze when I glaze it. So I just mixed a thinner batch, and that's another butter keeper. Nice when the stilts just rattle off. Uh, oatmeal over the top of my blue, with green on the bottom. Another yellow with the green. This is a sunny butter dish. are on order. I do this little slit trail thing on the side of them, so both of these are on order. I don't do it very often, but I like it. Maybe I should go back and do that more. It melts into the glaze quite a bit sometimes, and other times it stands out more. But these mugs have to be a certain height, so we have to, I've made a bunch of them. My wife is trying some new things in stoneware with some textures on the piece. We use a lot of stamps. I don't show that many when I'm actually doing pottery, but we actually use a lot of stamps on pieces. A lot of the time we do it on uh, slumped molded pieces. Because you can press against them. On thrown forms, it's harder to press against. Little tea balls. I haven't made tea balls for a while because I probably have hundreds stored in boxes. The season, of, this is peak season, and we're still not seeing peak. This is where we do get a little bit garish because the fish have to stand out on the side of the road. It's not too bad, I guess. But, um, but these are technical gold, blue stripes. Uh, yeah, technical golden blue stripes, and I added a little bit of the cranberry glaze at the edge of the blue and all that. So these catch people's vision as they're driving by, as you can hear them. So, um, so they have to have some color. We don't see fish like this sitting in the water out, well, swimming in the water outside here, but for sitting on the shelf on the wall out there, please catch the light 
and should stop people driving by. Oh, what glazes do we have here? Turquoise, apple green, and rutile green with a little blue and yellow on the front. A leaf from Jackie. Just apple green. I think it's just apple green, white, very... Oh, maybe it's got a little of the rutile green in there too. I'm not sure. It just shows up green on the back, so I think it's just apple green. Another fish, or oh, fish as they say in Ohio. Uh, blue, I just pour the glazes when I'm actually doing these fish, so yogurt carton full of glaze, just pour it. And then I hand paint other areas, of course. I try to pour very carefully, but that one should stand out quite nicely. And here's another one that will stand out. My wife did this one. There we go. We're, you can see the, the different styles that we have. Yellow and apple green. This is another one by my wife. Turquoise, the apple greens, the blue, and a little bit of gray, I think, on the back there. Ooh, this is very sweet. Just a yellow edged green bowl has a sort of landscape feel. That's a nice pretty bowl. The glaze is really subtle on the inside, very crystal looking, not, not shiny, but just matte with a little shine. There's another one. I think these turned out very nice. They have a landscape feel and yet really sunny. Here's another one of the mouse grays, and on this one, I dipped with oatmeal stripes as well. It's very much similar to the bowl that I did that sold so quickly, but this doesn't have the. There was another dip on the bowl I sold, but this is close up. We got very nice glaze. Very nice on the back, too. And regular blue bowl, I do these all the time. People actually eat out of these bowls now. I sell a lot of them for that reason. And I think I've got the little dish for this somewhere. I got some planters in here, so these are just the basis for the planters. These are some more of my wife's little experiments. In the next firing, she's going to have all of her clear glazed uh, pieces in. And I will too, because I've got a bunch of flower paintings to go in the firing. But these are just dipped the way I dip, um, and she's textured the little drinking glasses. And I saw me the yellow inside, Tenmiku gold. I think these, what would these be used for? Like little shot glasses almost. That's very nice. It's got a fish stamp in there at the top too. Mouse gray and turquoise with a little yellow on the top. That's one of Jackie's as well. This one, there's somebody in our showroom. I think my wife will go get it. That's a regular blue, nothing else on it. Yeah, my wife's going over to deal with the customers. Turquoise and uh, yellow over the top. 
Here we go. There you go, turquoise with yellow over the top. And this one is blue with variegated blue over the top and oatmeal. That, this one always works nice when I do it like that. Here's some more of those squiggle mugs for the order. So I've got these to show up in different ways because I'm not sure which ones he's going to like. But I think he wants some really small like this. I always like my fluted mugs. That's a nice one. And then this is Rutile Green. What did I do over this one? I think I added some of the yellow oatmeal over the top of that one and it melted down. Came out very nice. That's a really nice green. And here's the wiggly mugs, which I said I would do a video of for somebody. Blue, Temiku Gold, and then oatmeal over the top. And this is the gray with the fluting. And oatmeal over the top of the gray there. It's getting busier with the customers. This is the 16th of July. So it's normally we're in peak season at this point, so we'll see what happens. It's early in the morning yet. I think it's only 10 o'clock. Green with blue over the top of the green. Yep, blue. And this is on my speckle clay as well. So green with the blue and then some oatmeal over it too. So. All right. Hi, and this is green with, uh, yeah, it's rutile green and then regular green on the bottom. Uh, and this is blue with Tenriku gold on the bottom, and it's got my yellow oatmeal on the top here. You can tell because a bit faded on the inside. Temiku gold, blue, and oatmeal, and the, just the blue on its own here. Another one for the order, with the, he wants the little squiggles on, so there we go. Oatmeal over the top of the blue, all the way down. Rutile green with some yellow and turquoise blue, green, copper, red with some yellow on the top as well. Rutile green over speckled clay as well. And then the blue with the oatmeal and variegated blue, I think. Swiped over that one too, but the crystals on the on the on the Temriku gold are working really good on the bottom. Okay, now we get to some more interesting things here. So um, uh, let's go. Here's a really nice fish. Uh, let's see, green apple green. Yeah. Then we've got the blue in the center, more apple green, and then a variegated blue on the tail. 
So that's a nice collection of colors there. Really feels like rain at the moment, so let's see. Here is a really nice pendant and gold fish. And this is another one that's long. It's about 21, 22 inches long. So I don't make them this long very often. But um, there's some red in the actual stripes there. Just catches a, a little glint of them. In the sunlight, these just sparkle. stand out from the road. So that one, blue, oatmeal, I think. Yeah, blue and then oatmeal stripes with the apple green fins and a little bit on the mouth there as well. That one should stand out. Another Tenmuku gold. We did a lot of Tenmuku gold because in the sun, these catch and they glint like gold on the on the front of the building. Apple green too. These are fun to make. I mean, I actually enjoy. I, I sometimes just do it like four in the afternoon. I'll just say, I'll make two or three fish, and it just makes you happy for the last part of the day. I think this is the bottom to the planter. I did oatmeals on the top, so I matched it with the planter, so it's a little different. And I did some stripes just by painting glaze there as well. There's some fun stuff in here too. This is the blue-green copper red fluted piece with yellow over the top and apple green on the bottom. And that's rutile green. Okay, that's how I fire them. These are the bird feeders. That should stand out, that's some bright colors. Is it loose? Oh yep, just lifts right off. Just wax resist where I put them, fire them on top of each other. So that's a bird feeder. And it didn't warp at all. This uh, oatmeal with the blue over the top makes the blue very pastel. And I'm kind of, it's going to light, I'm going to learn to live with it because I think I like it, but, but it's so different to when I put the oatmeal over the blue. When the blue's over the oatmeal, it looks like that. And all that. But, uh, so these are green, Tenmuku gold. And this is variegated blue with blue and oatmeal at the top. We've just been through these ones, I think. There's one of the berry bowls in the actual mouse gray with oatmeal over it. This is one of my regular blue bowls. I already unloaded one like this. Variegated blue over my bright blue. Little tiny dish. Jackie made this one. Tenmuku gold, blue, and rutile green over that one. The other one? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Regular little drinking glass by my wife as well with apple green. I think she's got dark green. I oh, know turquoise in that one and oatmeal on the bottom. Another berry bowl with blue and oatmeal. Planter, oatmeal over the, uh, actually it's num number 16 glaze, which is a speckly, it's the same bright blue glaze, but with some iron in it, as well as the cobalt. And 
this has gone with the stripes as well. In the blues, this is all blues, I think, with some red stripes on it, cranberry glaze. So these are big fish. We don't have enough room on the building to put all of these out, so. There you go, that was hard to get that one out. I'm trying not to take the shelves apart. It's a Tenmuku Gold, Apple Green, simply glazed in these ones. But pouring, but just get, there's probably some oatmeal in there a little bit as well, because it makes the Tenmuku Gold crystallize a bit more. Green too. I guess we did a lot of Tenmuku Gold and Green for these ones. Just because it, that Tenmuku Gold sparkles when the sun hits them on the front of the building. quickly go through these because I think we've taken pieces like this out of the kiln already this firing. These are the regular Rutar green with lemon over my yellow. There's a bit of my stilt left on there. Variegated blue over the top of bright blue with some green. I got 24 mugs for the bakery in this firing and also for White Point. Um, so this was a major mug firing. Apple green with something else on it. I'm not sure which. It's very thickly glazed. Maybe I dropped this one in the glaze, but um, apple uh, gray, mouse gray on that one. I still have to do the little trays for those. The greens did really good in this fire. Remember if I did reduction in this fire, most of these greens would be grayish or, or red. But because um, they all have copper in them. How red we don't know because whether it would be, especially since uh, to that, to, you, you need tin in there as well if you've got a copper red glaze. So. May Bakery Rutile Green and Blue Green. The Blue Green Popper Red with the yellow oatmeal over it always looks like the beach to me. Just, and this is all blue. And this shows how true this oxidation firing was because this is totally blue. Uh, so uh, this is just a hanging planter, um, but basically it stayed totally blue. So this was a really good oxidation fire. This would be darker blue if it was any type of reduction. Another one of those landscape bowls that I do with the green and the blue to create like a slight landscape on the piece. So you can view these, That's they're supposed to be viewed like that. Another little leaf tray by my wife, Tenmuku Gold. And Rutile Green with apple green on the bottom. Yep, just rutile green and apple green. A couple of really yellow planters. I think I unloaded the bases for these already. Um, so those are very, I sell a lot of these because they're very happy. Happy is a good thing. Wiggly mugs, and then another tea ball. That tea ball is very nice. That was simply glazed with the rutile green as well. A 
here's the cone at the bottom of the kiln. So this one is how I usually try to get the cone to look. The other cone, I'm not sure what I did with it, was almost bent as much, but not quite. Here is the other hanging planter. See, 50 the dome should be 50% bigger than the actual base, and that way. This is the, oh, let's see, blue over oatmeal. I think I like this. I did a lot of them, so I must have thought it was going to be good. I think it's pretty nice. It's, it's sort of a pastel blue, really. And there's, there's another one of those, and another one of the rutile green. And this green is pretty happy looking too. It's got a nice warm yellowish look to it. Okay, so that was the second of what I think will be three uh, glaze firings, although I do have enough to do another bistle already, so um, I'm not sure which I'll do next. But anyway, uh, this is Vaughan Smith at westoakdalepottery.ca in Nova Scotia on July 16th. Um, I hope you're having a good summer, and, um, and let me know if you saw anything in here that you want. Um, I can mail them to you. I got uh, three or four pieces going out from the last video. So uh, we mail everywhere to the UK. Bye in Cornwall, Susie. All right, thanks. Bye.